Welcome to our safety video. Today, we're embarking on a journey to ensure the well-being of everyone in our workplace. Safety is not just a priority, it's a core value. So let's gear up, pay attention, and learn how to make our workplace as safe as it can be. Your safety matters, and we're here to help you protect it. Let's get started. In laboratory settings, cross-contamination refers to the unintentional transfer of substances, materials, or contaminants from one sample, apparatus, or location to another. Cross-contamination can be a significant concern in laboratories, especially when working with sensitive or potentially hazardous materials, as it can lead to inaccurate results, compromised experiments, and safety hazards. Here we have Hannah who just finished working with substances in her lab and is now walking around the hall. As you can see, her gloves still have some of the substances she was using and she is leaving particles all over the place. When working with any substances in the lab, always make sure to remove all safety equipment before exiting the lab to avoid cross-contamination. Keeping this in mind, it's also extremely important to label the substances you're working with even if it's something silly like water with food coloring. Right now, you are looking at two unlabeled liquids. Unclear labels, missing labels, and or the use of abbreviations, formulas, or chemical structures on labels can lead to potential exposure to hazardous chemicals. Unlabeled or mislabeled chemicals not only present potential hazards, but are expensive to dispose of. Now they are labeled and can be worked with properly. Hannah and anyone who uses the lab after her will now know exactly what is in the containers. 